Welcome to my channel once again. This is Daniel for D Vibes Entertainment. Once again, I have another video for you, and today we're going to be looking at how to create a photo freeze from a video clip, just like you see in this video right here. Okay, without further ado, we go straight into our software. And remember today I'm using a Premiere Pro 2019 but other versions of Premiere Pro you could be able to achieve the kind of effect that I'm going to be showing you. The first thing you want to do is have a video clip just like I have one right here. This is my video clip right here. Okay. Of course you let it play and you get a point at which you want to freeze your photo. Right about there is where I feel I want to freeze, create my photo freeze. So after getting the point that I want to create my photo freeze, I'll go into my clip, right click, and when I right click, I'll just go down to insert frame hold segment, and I'll click that. Okay, as you can see immediately, it creates kind of a freeze, because when I go back and play this clip, it plays but when it gets here it freezes so it has created a photo freeze just like we want okay when I play it further my clip will definitely play so this is the part that we want to deal with right here the next thing I want to do is I want to create a duplicate of the photo freeze that I've just created what I'll do I'll just press the alt button and bottom and I'll drag up on top to create a duplicate after creating your photo freeze duplicate just like I've done right here the next thing you want to do is you first want to close out the duplicate here so that you can work with the original photo freeze which is on track one because I want to put some effects in it so I'll go to my effects right here and type in camera blur okay camera blur and when you look for camera blur it should be just down here so this is camera blur I'll just get this effect and drop it into our original photo freeze which is on track one just like that as you can see there's been a blur that has been created in our photo the next thing I want to do is I want to change the color of that blur I'll just type in black you're looking for black and white when you type in black and scroll down you will find the black and white just around here it is here so I get the black and white and also drop it into our original photo freeze which is on track one as you can see we've created kind of a black and white effect in our photo so I can open this up and try and work on the duplicate photo freeze. I'll just click on it so that I'm in position to manipulate and put a few effects in it. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to effects. Okay. Under effect, you're going to look for radio. Okay, which is radio shadow which is right here so I'll just get this radio shadow and drop it into our duplicate photo freeze just like that the next thing I want to do is I want to go to the scale which is right here in our effects control being a hundred I'll just bring it down to 60 so that I can be in position to see this is our photo right here it has frozen down to a 60 in scale remember we put our radio shadow and it is in the effects control what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and look for radio shadow which is right here under radio shadow the first thing you want to do under this effect is go to resize layer click box and then go down to shadow color you want to change the shadow color you can use any preference color that you feel you want to but I'll go for white 
and I'll click OK. Then I'll go to Opacity, increase this to 100. OK. And I'll go down to Projection Distance, which I'll give around a 4 and enter. And then I'll go to the light source. I'm trying to balance up the frames just like that when you click when you scroll to the left or right you can see the frame is trying to balance up just like that just like that oh by the way before we go into the next stage have you remember to subscribe onto my channel please don't forget to subscribe so that you can get more of the videos every time I upload them. As I was saying, after creating a photo frame around our photo, the next thing we want to do is we want to create keyframes on the scale and rotation. So I'll go to effects control, go to scale, click the scale and go down to rotation and also click it. Then I'll highlight these and just drag them right at the beginning just like that. So I'm going to work with the scale first. It being at a 60, I'm going to bring this up to 75. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go to rotation and try and just... I'm going to rotate it just slightly, just like that. So I'll give it to 6, between a 5 and 6. Okay, as you can see, just like that. So I'll get these that I've just created, the keyframes that I've just created and drag them right at the end just like that. Then I'll go back to the first keyframes, highlight both of them, okay, then right click and say ease in and then go highlight my second keyframes and right click and say ease out. So we have a preview of how our photo freeze is going to be look like. So this is how it's going to look like. Okay, that's our photo freeze with a rotation kind of effect. The next thing we want to do is we want to give a transition between the original clip moving and our photo freeze. We shall go back to effects control, go down to video transitions, and look for cross devolve dissolve and under dissolve we shall look for an effect which is um, we could go for a deep white okay so I'll get the deep white depending on your preference I'll get a deep white and put it in between our moving clip and the photo okay just like that what I'll do is I'll just drag this so that it doesn't delay so much, just like that. So that we have kind of a flash onto our photo freeze. So we shall have something like this. Okay. That looks cool already. Okay. And that's how it looks like. The next thing you want to do is you want to put a sound effect under the photo freeze i already have a sound effect from the internet so i'll just drag that sound effect and just drag it just below where the video transition comes in from so that to create something like that camera okay so the final piece should be something like this so how cool is that okay well that's it for today's effect subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss out on any other video that i'll be uploading every week that's it from me see you